Hey, what's up, you guys? So, it's been a hot minute, a really hot minute, like a month, but it's fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. I'm back. I'm posting. It's all good. So, today's video. So, like, I might just be a little quiet because it's, it's 10 o'clock on a Sunday. People are sleeping. They got things to do, places to be, whatever. So, I might be a little ASMR in this video, whatever. I don't know. just want to make, like, a little experience video, whatever. Because on Wednesday, I went and saw and conquered Miss Ariana Grande Sweetener Sessions Chicago, bitch. So I'm just gonna like go about like what happened. Yeah. So Sweetener Sessions, August 22nd, 2018. Wednesday, last Wednesday. Got up at six o'clock, had all my makeup packed, whatever. Got in my car, drove over Chicago. Picked up Leslie, went in line, met up with my sweetener crackheads at 7.30 in the morning. The show didn't start till 7.30. Actually, doors weren't till 7.30. So, 12 hours in line. <laughs> so, we showed up 12 hours early because it was a GA show. We were about the 10th people in line. So, basically, there's really not much to it. I just waited a whole day in line. Some highlights of waiting in line is the Sweetener Crackheads putting on a show. We're officially a band. We're a quartet or quintet. I don't know how many of us there were, but here's a video of us singing because it was our show. Like, Ariana Who, this was our show. Oh baby, my baby, my baby, baby, oh baby, baby, I All I'm trying to say is you're my so yeah you can see we're kind of like up there our album's coming out 2019 get ready and yeah i mean we just kind of like waited and waited and there was like drama because people were cutting in line and i was like threatening to like throw my heel at people and like step on people and it was just like not not a good time for that we're just all trying to have a good time but it's like girl i've been here for 12 hours what are you doing you just showed up 30 minutes before the show and you're gonna like say your friends are there like mm -hmm. at about i want to say four it was like four o'clock three or four o'clock because i was finishing my makeup or it might have been earlier give me one second so it was about two o'clock when scooter fredo and like all those kinds of people, P and Doug, they all showed up to the Vic Theater, which is where the show was gonna be, and people were going crazy, but I was just doing my makeup, so I was trying to like not freak out or whatever. And Scooter was going back and forth and he was doing like this one prank for someone. I don't know, and he was telling us to all say where's Sonny's show or something like that. And then he was like just going down the line telling people to do that. And then he was on FaceTime with someone, we're all like, Where's Sonny's show? Where's Sunny show? Where's Sunny? I, I don't know, Scooter, you're such a dad. Okay. Okay. And then later after that, I talked to Scooter about JB5 because it's Scooter. Like, how are you just not gonna ask Justin Bieber's manager anything about his music? So the thing is, I didn't really get like tea on it. I mean, I did, but like there's not really tea on it. So I guess the tea is that like he doesn't know because Scooter doesn't know what Justin's doing and he told me his words that nobody else would be happier for the album to be out than Scooter and I'm just like I mean I'm pretty sure I'd be a little bit happier but I mean Scooter you're gonna get the coins so I mean I can kind of see but you can hear from me I had like this little vlog thing going on but it just kind of flopped so let me just like put that clip in here okay update You're vlogging yeah, <laughs> I don't know how it's gonna go. We just saw Scooter. Um, we want JB5. Alfredo just went in. Too. That's it. Fredo? Yeah. Oh, that's my bitch. I love Fredo. Ooh. But yeah, I don't know if Ariana's here. She just posted that she made it into Chicago, like on her plane or whatever. But I don't think she's here, but 
I don't know. Watch her be in the car right there. Watch her be in there. I don't know. Okay, now we're moving it to like 4.30, around there, 4.37 is what my phone says. Scooter came back around, whatever, I don't know. We're sitting, we're waiting, whatever. And my friend Amber, she's waiting with us. She's waiting with Leslie. Leslie is with us, but Leslie does not have a ticket. So we are waiting. Scooter comes up. Amber goes up to Scooter. She's like, yo, Scooter, like, she's been here all day. She doesn't have a ticket to the show. Can you do something? And Scooter's like, I got it covered. And we're just like, oh my God, like, bitch, oh my God. Leslie can break down crying. So precious. We love a stan. Cause like the thing is with Scooter being Ariana's manager, he was also Justin's manager first. And if you're like a believer or whatever, like me and Leslie and Amber and all that, this is like a big deal because like that's the thing that is their brand to give back. And it's so like crazy because you see it in like Never Say Never and like the Believe movie and all that. And they're like giving people tickets to the shows and that's literally what it was like. And it was so, like, I don't know, like, surreal. It was just really crazy. And I've never, like, seen anything like that. And it was just, it was the sweetest thing. We love Scooter Brown. We stand. We love him. So let me just put in that little clip here, too. Okay, so, uh, a really important life update. Scooter just showed up. He's right <laughs> there. He's right there. Um, he just gave Leslie a ticket to the show. Wow, we love a charitable king. And... Yeah, I'm recording. Funny how I literally love Scooter Braun. Like, <laughs> yeah, thank you for got bringing my double me. Chin. Cry, Damn it. Over wait, 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 thank you for bringing me Justin Bieber, Ariana Grande, fucking Tori Kelly. Like, we oh love my you. God, Tori Kelly. Yes. This is a legend. Oh my god. Literally full of legends. We love you. We love you. Oh my god. Scooter. Yeah, I'm still shaking. Like the man. Oh my god. So fast forward. It's 7:44. We were supposed to get let in 7:30 for the doors. So they were kind of like running behind a little bit. But it was supposed to be no phones, but Ariana and her mind, they decided to let us have our phones because I guess she just changed all that. So we had our phones, so it was like good. We're like, fuck yes. I have a picture like where I was like at the beginning. That was like fourth row. It was general admission. So I was like about like fourth row. Like if we're counting people wise, there was three people in front of me, like where the barricade is. So like, honestly, I was like mad because our group of people have been waiting since like like some of them were waiting from like five in the morning three in the morning and we were like the first 10 people in line so we should have had barricade but i guess they had like a vip thing that like met her and they got to be in front which i thought was bullshit because they could just show up like 30 minutes before the show and just have barricade and i thought that was super stupid but i mean you do you i guess p came on first and he was just like i don't know like introducing her or whatever, like we don't fucking know who she is, or whatever. Excuse me, um... And then she came out and it was just like really like relaxed, I guess. She was sitting on a stool and she was just like kind of like talking even though I couldn't understand a single thing she was saying because everyone was screaming. And she was just like performing the songs like she would ask us like what do you want next and we'd all be like screaming like 10 different things and she'd be like oh okay R.E.M. oh breathe it okay I got you sis like okay I have a couple videos of songs and like strips that I'm just gonna like put in here for you guys to watch just to enjoy whatever and funny before like during the show I was, I mentioned I was in the fourth row, so I ended up, like, actually, like, dancing my way through to the barricade because I was not, like, gonna stand there and be fourth row. I was like, bitch, I'm going up to the barricade, and I did. I came, I saw, I conquered, I did it. And at the end, I did not record these, I honestly should have, but we started leaving, like, me, Leslie, and our two other friends. We were starting to leave because we thought Ariana was done. This bitch came back, and she performed again. But we were, like, all the way in the back at this point. And then she started doing, like, a cappella, like, old songs. Like, she started singing right there and, like, Break Your Heart Right Back and, like, Best Mistake. And, like, all these old songs, like, a cappella. And everybody was just, like, singing in the back. And it was so great. Like, it was honestly the best. I wish I had it on video, but like I was just enjoying my time doing that and it was so great because like you just hear everybody singing when I'm in the back. Everybody in the back was a bunch of fakes, okay? But everybody in the front were like all the OGs and it was great. Everybody's like singing and all that. 
it's like i don't know it was such a different experience like it was so like intimate and it's like stuff you don't get to experience with bigger artists like ariana and it's just it was a really unforgettable experience <laughs>
After the show, we were waiting like a bunch of crackheads and there were a bunch of people waiting outside, which that wasn't helping. So we went all the way around because I know the venue really well. So we went all the way around and we were waiting for her and there was like literally just like five people, just five people. And we see like the vans and all like the Sprinter vans and stuff that they get in. And we didn't see Ariana actually get in, but like there was like three sets of cars, like SUVs going and in I think the second one someone saw her in the passenger seat on her phone and they didn't stop and we were like oh funny you could have stopped for five people but then again like we didn't do anything it's not like we like motioned to stop so I don't know if that would have made anything but it also proves my fact that Chicago fans get paid dust and New York gets everything no shade no tea but Chicago is the cleaner New York you didn't hear from me but you did that's it. I don't know what else to include. That's like pretty much it though. So I hope you guys liked this video. I know it probably wasn't the most exciting, but I just really wanted to talk about it and I really wanted to make a vlog, but I kind of gave up on it because there wasn't really anything going on. And plus my battery ended up being at 1% like in the middle of the show. So I was like, oh, I can't really do this anymore. I'm sorry this video is late. I know I said I was going to post this on Saturday, but I, something like came up. I just got like really like mad and just like didn't feel like filming, but I'm in a better mood. So I was like, you know, I'm just going to film this and I'll probably post it in like the next day or tomorrow or something. I don't know. If you guys like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. If you're not like go down here, hit my subscribe button, hit the little bell. It's gonna go and you're gonna know when I post every Saturday or whenever I feel like it I don't know it kind of changes I don't know hmm. my video got cut off interesting hmm. uh, but share the video with someone you think would like it like an Ironator or Belieber or Scooter Braun Stan you know like anybody just share it get me out there that is about it I will see you guys next week or technically this week i don't know and i will see you then with a new video so until then i hope you guys are doing amazing take care of yourselves go walk your dog if you don't have a dog go walk one or go pet one or something and i will see you soon peace out